Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I want to talk about all of the brand new mobs which came in with the most recent update for Minecraft Console, TE46, and how you can find them in both survival and creative. This is one of the updates of the most mobs for Minecraft Console we've had in quite some time, but the thing is, most of the mobs are actually kind of tricky to find, both in survival, like you'd expect, but also in creative. None of them have their own spawn eggs beside the shulker, so every good way I do in today's video is explain how to find the shulker, the stray, the husk, and the skeleton horse. Hopefully you'd all enjoy this, like it if you do, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like these sorts of videos. But with that said, let's get straight in for a shall we? and let's start with the very first and most easy mob to find Minecraft because again there's four of them this update and the easy one is just the shulker and even then it's not particularly easy to find in survival although in creative all you have to do is find your spawn egg but in survival what you have to do is you have to you know go into your end fight your dragon kill your dragon find one of these uh, you know end gateways like I've got just over here and then throw an end portal uh, an end pole into the end gateway and that'll take you to one of these places these places will naturally spawn with a few shulkers and that's how you find them in survival so yeah the shulkers don't have any particularly notable drops you probably don't want to find them in survival unless you want their uh, you know levitation attack because if you've never seen this basically when they attack you they make you levitate in the air with a pretty cool levitation effect let me show you because it's just that cool so we're gonna see let's uh, just eat and uh, maybe get attacked by one of these things and as you see when that ha uh, attacks us we, we turn into uh, levitation or we get affected by levitation which is actually pretty cool and can help you out in certain ways but make sure you know how long it lasts because as soon as it goes out then you're gonna fall and potentially die so yeah that's the first of the four mobs the shulker is one you're probably most familiar with but the other mobs are all kind of tricky to spawn in both survival and creative because again a lot of people you know the moment the update came out they're like yeah I'm excited about the stray the husk etc however so let's just pull out the world however you actually look around here you'll see there's no oh let's turn on uh, keep him true if you look around here you'll see there's no husk or stray spawn egg so yeah how do you spawn these other two and slash three mobs so yeah the husk and the uh, the uh, the stray are actually variants of the zombie and the skeleton and uh, I know that sounds kind of confusing as to why they're built as a whole new mob when they're actually a variant but basically they're so different to the existing mob uh, but still kind of similar they figure that's the best way to do it so so unlike, um, you know, so what they actually did is they added the spawn egg, then removed it at some point on the PC, which is why we just don't have them at all. If you want to spawn them, so you need to, if you want to spawn a husk, let's say, what you need to do is you need to take a zombie spawn egg and just go to a desert because they will only spawn in deserts and only then 80% of the time when a regular zombie would spawn. So yeah, what would usually be, let's call it, you know, a, a zombie attack on your village at night will turn into a husk attack because as you can see right, okay, wait, bad luck. As you can see right here, 80% of the time you use a spawn egg, you're going to get a husk instead of a zombie in a desert. So yeah, what's the difference between a husk and a zombie for survival? Because, you know, in survival, obviously the way you do that is you just go to a desert and you find you know uh, you, you know when a zombie spawns it's instead of one of these what's the difference between the two zombies besides the fact that this guy has uh, you know slightly worse tasting clothing and looks like he's maybe been a bit dusty so yeah the big difference is that when this zombie attacks you it does the exact same stuff but it will also give you the hunger effect like you would get from eating raw flesh also this is uh, getting kind of bad for the villagers so <laughs> yeah let's move on from uh, this uh, you know the husk uh, to the stray because the stray is uh, kind of like the husk uh, you know the zombie is a uh, they, sorry the husk is a variant of a zombie the the stray is a variant of the uh, skeleton. So yeah, this is actually a lot more terrifying because they also buff the skeleton, which means the stray is a very scary mob in this update because yeah, basically let's uh, spawn in our skeleton and uh, put him down right here. So what is the, uh, okay, <laughs> again, 80% of the time in the snow biome, you'll find a stray instead of a skeleton. In that case, we got unlucky both times. But yeah, if we spawn in a bunch of them, you'll see that we'll get mostly strays. So yeah, strays are these people right here. And as you can see, they're also different to the main skeleton, both visually because they look very, very different. Oh, they're all going under there. <laughs> they look very, very visually different as you can probably Term. but they're also kind of different in terms of the fact that they uh, you know have a different attack because uh, yeah they've got the same behavior in terms of how scary they are and how much they run away from you but if we uh, spawn right here and let one attack okay this isn't a snow biome but yeah uh, basically uh, these uh, guys right here uh, if they do attack you they'll give you the slowness effect so yeah if you want to find these in survival go to a snow biome which is more scary because they contain these strays however when a stray attacks you it'll make you slower and given how much harder skeletons are to attack now that's say you know uh, an interesting little thing right there so oh one other, one other little thing while we're here just uh, you know a fun little uh, fact about the new mobs and stuff update skeletons not only do they hold their bow properly now but they also have a chance of holding it in the opposite hand like they would if it was dual wooding so yeah you can occasionally find a zombie uh, sorry a skeleton with one in the right hand instead of the left which is kind of interesting you, you find oh sorry that's left instead of right it's my right but they're left whatever uh, so you can find left-handed skeletons and that's a cool fact about this update so yeah that's how you find the skeleton uh, the strays in this update the third brand new mob but what about the last one the skeleton horse because you might be familiar with all of that but you might be like okay so I can't I get it but what about the skeleton horse and the thing about the skeleton horse is it's so hard to find in both survival and creative. So uh, I, I, I have, uh, you know, 
fortunately found out that it is possible because a uh, Twitter follower sent me an image of them on a skeleton horse. So you can definitely find these, but the way you get them is so inanely dull for both survival and creative. So in creative, it's a little bit easier because you can turn, you know, set your day to night and then also set your weather to thunder. So whenever, you know, it thunders, you've got a, depending on your difficulty, so turn it up to hard if you want the best chance, you've got around a 4% chance per lightning strike of having a skeleton trap horse spawn instead of a, you know, just, you know, randomly. And it'll look like a regular horse until you go close to it. So yeah, basically, skeleton, uh, horses now spawn randomly during uh, thunderstorms and if you look around close enough we might even get one if we're really really lucky here I just doubt it and basically if you go to these uh, skeleton trap horses um, because they just look like regular horses if you get one 10 blocks they will spawn three uh, skeleton horses uh, with skeleton riders and it's a real challenge to fight like it makes thunderstorms actually pretty scary and uh, yeah the reason this is so cool is because if you do kill them and if you take their stuff one you've got a chance of taking their helmet which is always enchanted but two then you get the skeleton horse which you can tame if you want to that's right uh they weren't tameable previously when they were glitch mobs, but now you can tame the skeleton horse and you can have a really, really cool, um, you know, you can have a really cool, like, I guess, a, you know, showcase for the thing you've actually done. So yeah, skeleton horses are possible in subplay. They're just really rare to find. Again, even in creative, you're not gonna be able to find them. In survival, all you have to do is you just have to pray that one spawns at some point. And because of the fact that they don't despawn, uh, I, I'd say the best way to do it in survival is wait till it thunders, Go out, because again, you've got 15 minutes when it thunders to when the horse will stop being a skeleton trap. So let it thunder, and then 10 minutes later, go out, look for all the thunder strikes. If you see a horse, go close to it. If it spawns some skeletons, you're in for a treat. But if not, then keep trying. Because I, I, I swear, I spent like an hour trying to get this done earlier, and I just got really unlucky, and it didn't happen. So yeah, uh, skeleton traps, now a thing you can have in this update. It's kind of tricky to get, even in creative. Like, again, I spent an hour just trying to show this, but it's not really a thing. But it is something you can do, and uh, I've seen that showcase. So yeah, there are the four brand new mobs in this update. There is the shulker, really easy and creative kind of tricky in survival you got the straight and the husk which is actually pretty easy for both but you need a particular world you can't do it on super flat because there's no biomes um and then you got the skeleton horse which is just uh it's it's luck based more than anything else and it looks like i'm quite unlucky but i'd love to see your luck let me know if you have found a skeleton horse yet in the comments down below uh because having a skeleton horse is just a cool again like relic of minecraft that i look forward to doing in my survival let's play world and i'd love to hear about your experiences with that in the comments down below and anyway, i hope you did all enjoy this video i know this was a somewhat basic thing but again it's the sort of thing where like if you don't have a spawn egg how do you spawn in a mob hopefully this video answered that question like if you liked it share who really likes it and subscribe if you're new around here i've been making videos like this lots of times per day actually on my channel and if subscribed you'll see them dead on your homepage. and also i'll be making a live stream in a little bit trying to kill as many end dragons as i can in one stream so make sure you check that out anyway thank you very much for watching see you all next time goodbye